Hey, we're out here in Chatham Strait, Southeast Alaska. Um, this is my annual trip aboard Northern Song to study the humpback whales up in their feeding grounds. This Southeast Alaska does an amazing place for studying humpback whale bubble net feeding. It's one of the most unique things that they do up here. Core members of whales that come together annually over and over again, non-relatives, get together, locate a school of herring, dive down below that school of herring, all of a sudden one or maybe two of them produce this feeding call. It sounds like an elephant trumpeting. Beep, beep, beep. Like that. They dive down, they trumpet, everybody it's electric up on up on the deck. Everybody's waiting. All of a sudden that sound truncates. The birds start circling overhead. They locate what looks like a bubble ring coming up to the surface. We see the bubble ring, and then all of a sudden it's electric and the whales emerge out, mouths open, herring flying, and they do that over and over again. While there may be bubbles occurring and cooperative feeding in other areas, this is the only place where these things come together with core members that come over and over again to share that experience. What we're learning about these whales that cooperatively feed on, on herring is that they have unique roles in this venture that they have together. Uh, one of them is the one that dives down with the group and produces this feeding call, that trumpeting beep, beep, beep. That whale or another produces a bubble ring around a cylinder or just above the herring, the herring or below. Then all the whales that have come down with that bubble netter, with that collar, they work together in circling and coming up into that tunnel and go to one side, push the herd of herring against that, almost like a barrier, and boom, they come through the surface, mouths agape. It's amazing, the herring's popping. The whales are eating, eating, eating all around, taking breath, and then we just watch them go in formation and it always seems to be the same whale that's the lead, dives first, and then that last whale, the unique markings on their tail, that's what tells us who's who, that whale dives last. And they do that over and over and over again. It's epic. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, how many whales feed in a bubble net feeding group? Well, you could have anywhere from two whales all the way up to what we saw, which was about 23 or 30 whales. Think about that. All coming up in synchrony so that caller does the call. That lets them know we're about to come up and like a well-orchestrated team, they've got to come up together and get those herring at the surface. It's pretty incredible if you think about it. How many, how many animal species can coordinate numbers like that? If you enjoyed this video and learning about our research studying cooperative feeding groups and bubble net feeding, you can help us out by donating to our nonprofit organization, thedolphininstitute.org. We're trying to raise money for a boat, some camera equipment to upgrade, a drone, all sorts of things so that we can do the best research possible both here in Southeast Alaska and where the whales are breeding in Hawaii.